The great Philip Johnson is here. For more than half a century, he has been practicing architecture, and he has been at the forefront of architecture and design. He's got lots of projects, including the Glass House, the Cathedral of Hope, and the Lipstick Building here in New York. Paul Goldberg of The New Yorker has called him our most compelling architectural presence for more than a generation, and perhaps even longer than that. On July 8th, he will celebrate his 95th birthday. I am pleased to welcome my friend Philip Johnson back to this table just to check in with what's going on before we do our next interview, which will be when he's about 100. So welcome to the program. Thank you. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel better and better every yeah. year. Do you really? Sure. No, that's not true. Come on. It isn't true at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't feel well, but that's not the point. What's the point? Well, when you're 95, you feel 95, right? <laughs> exactly. And 95 is not like 55. You're 55 not like is not like 25. <laughs> no, and 25 right. is not like 15. That's right, but I feel fine. Yeah. You look wonderful. I feel fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, the makeup person is very good here. <laughs> she gets better and better. I think yeah. we should just relax now and have our makeup. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'll just send her to you every morning when you go out in public, see, and you'll, <laughs> you'll look like, you know, you just came off of the movie. I said, I, I think I have to put you on my payroll, I said to her this morning. <clears throat> no, she's she, good. She would love that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what, you know what we need? We need Philip Johnson the movie. That's what we need. You and I should make the Philip Johnson movie. I'm sure they would be glad to have one. <laughs> I'm sure they would. You continue to work. Oh, yes. Uh, I want to talk about projects. Which shall we talk about first? We can talk about the Spring Street project, because I've got a model here. That's the one I want to talk that, about. That's the one you want to talk about? Well, I don't care. I just see it there. <laughs> Let's see the slide and have you talk about it, all right? Sure. There it is. You can see the slide over there. Now, I love this building. You have said that this would be the crowning achievement in your career. Well, <clears throat> you still say that or not? No, the next one. The next one. All right. Why? But tell me why this a project is important to you. This part is important to me because it represents a new direction in modern architecture. It is a, well, I call it for short, the revolt of the double hung window. The revolt of the double hung window. Nobody ever used them. You see, nowadays modern glass and all that. Yeah. Since the invention of glass, double hungs have gone out with dodos. Yes. <laughs> ah, they're coming back through the back door. Because of you. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I'm going to do my bet for it. Yeah. No, so what is it about the double hung window that... Well, because it's local. It's, it's feely. It's, it's, it's the way New Yorkers feel. Yeah. If, you, if you look at a block in New York, it's full of double hung windows. Yeah. So if you want to feel at home, get a big building, since that's the way New York is, you can't right. stop it. Right. But if you're not going to stop tall buildings, at least you can stop glass buildings and, and get that same feeling of a double hung. Double hung is just the right width to lean out. Yeah. It's just the right width to open and close. I like this idea. Sure. And, and so everything in that building. Yeah, right here, the one right here, and we can see the picture there. Well, yeah, you can see the picture, but yeah. ah, pictures. Yeah, they, they don't do justice, you think? No, I think the model does model justice. Did, yeah. Well, yeah, that doesn't do justice either, huh? No, hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> let's build it, shall we? Yeah, let's build it. Yeah, now, I, this building ran into a little bit of trouble, didn't it? Oh, yeah, we aren't going to. You don't think it'll be built? I do, but it'll be built in some other place. Not in New York. Oh, yes. It but some other location. In, uh, some in other Europe. location. Because the, the problem with the building is it's too high. It's too high because that's what the locals say, because it says so in the rules. See? Well, but all New York does is to break pass rules. the rules, so it <laughs> doesn't bother me in the slightest. <laughs> rules are made and to be broken. It doesn't bother the owner. He's, he's a delightful man. Yeah. He's the first client I've ever had that said, make me a work of art. The first client? First client. I see. Well, what are their. Uh, uh, most of them are like the yeah. certain clients. That I name was the last time I did that. Put in in the in the article, and he what? wrote me a steamy note <laughs> on the cover. I mean, who was that? Oh, 50, 57th Street. 57th Street. Yeah. 59th Street. 59th. Yeah. Um, but this will be built somewhere else, and it'll be built six of them. He wants to build six. Right. Six of these buildings? Yeah, he said, well, build, let's build six for them. Right. I said, fine. Yeah, you can do it. And we're going to build one in Rome, he says. Yeah, in Rome? Yeah, well. With the double-hung windows? 
Well, no, we won't do that every time. Yeah. Maybe Rome isn't yeah. as used to double hunk as we are in our old age. But I'll say what else it has. It's, it sort of starts narrow and then and broadens out. So oh, it, it's, well, well, it's a sort of a cubist period. Yeah. It's, it's what reminded me of a cubist period. Yeah, well, it's what it is. Uh, more like the Dutch cubism yeah. than anything, or expressionism, whatever it isn't you want to use of that. But the point is, it's all very loosely done, you see. What's the fabric? I mean, what's the material? Brick. Brick? Oh, New York brick. New York brick. Sure. <laughs> see, all here, in the pictures, that, in that picture, you can't tell. lousy picture, yeah. it's all covered of brick. Yeah. What's your favorite material to work with? Whatever's handy. Yeah. So if it's glass, if it's brick, glass, if it's brick, wood, if it's stone. Yeah. No, concrete's a favorite. Really? Yeah. Well, this is, for instance. Yeah. This could be beautiful in, in, in concrete. In concrete. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you, if in anywhere, in terms of where, you, how you would define yourself today? No, no, nowhere. Nowhere. No, I'm totally lost. Totally lost. Heaven. Mm -hmm. There's no postmodernism. There's no, no. word or. Well, the, the, my best houses, for instance, are all copies of the uh, Pantheon in Rome. Your best houses are? Yeah, there are about four or five I'm doing now. Yeah. That are, each room is a little Pantheon of different size. Why the Pantheon? Because it makes a nice little, little bulb. Yeah. That sits around and looks awful cute. <laughs> Here's a Pantheon, there's another Pantheon. Yeah. Here's another Pantheon, here's another one. Uh, one house I'm doing now in New Canaan. Yeah. has 11 of these. Uh, 11 pa little pantheons. Little pantheons. Yeah. Uh, Chrysler. Looking at this, tell me what this is about. There is the Chrysler Center Trilons. Well, we got tired of the Chrysler building, got very boring, and it's too high in the air. Yeah. I can't see it. Okay. So we, we thought we'd bring the Chrysler building down to, to pedestrian scale. Right. Now, there are only three of these here, but they don't show. Right. These, you know photography. Yes. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Anyhow, you're fun to walk by the yeah. next time you go that way. All right. And they'll see the trilon. On 42nd Street, yeah. Yeah. All right. Next slide is the Cathedral of Hope in Dallas. We love this, too. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah. Don't this we? is right. Tell me, well, what's the inspiration well, there? This is inspiration is pure concrete shape yeah. that uh, uh, makes things go up and down and in and out. And the whole thing is so big. It's an enormous church. Yeah. 2006. How long did you work on that? Oh, I still working on it. I've been working on it for six years. Six years? Yeah. Now, have they started construction? No. Not yet? No, we're still worrying about the budget. Still so the budget? The budget, yeah. <laughs> You're always worrying about the budget. Well, of course. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> worry That's about what architects, you wonder what they do. <laughs> what do they do? Now you know what architects do. We worry about the budget. <laughs> Uh, the Children's Museum in Guadalajara, Mexico. There's another interesting project. That I mean, is fascinating. And that is about, see, that's four different houses, yeah. buildings, that do different things. And the children have their, on an island. We make a little island. In Guadalajara, you can do anything. Yeah. It's wonderful to be in Mexico. Oh, it's great. It's, yeah. All right, create an island. Have you spent some time down there to get a sense oh, of... yes, indeed I have. <laughs> I walk the damn beaches. <laughs> and since it's an island, you see, you let the children wander around on the island. Oh, that's great. See, and there's a place for music, a place for art, a place for, for painting with your fingers, and a place for looking at pictures. And uh, it's mostly visual art, naturally. Since that happens to be the one that interests me. Yes. And uh, and of course architecture. And uh, fortunately in this you can't bother to see them because they're too small for yeah. the camera. Right. But they're great. They each one a different shape, and you get a big kick out of looking at a building that does funny things, and looking at another building that does other funny things. Yeah, you do. That's a big kick. Now, if you were starting over. Sorry, I'm what? If you were starting your life over, oh, uh -huh. you, would you be an architect? Oh, heavens, yes. Yeah. Of course. Except I'd be one earlier. I was late. I know you were. I mean, was it at Harvard? When was it that you got the idea to go to architecture? Well, I was almost too old to go to architecture. It was after Harvard. Yeah, Harvard. After yeah. I got It was after Harvard. Harvard. Yeah. Would you do, knowing what you know, mm -hmm. knowing who you know, mm -hmm. seeing what you have seen, listening to what you have heard, reading what you have read, would you do it differently? Would you track a different course? 
if you had it to do over? Isn't it the luckiest thing in the world that I don't have to do it, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? No, what difference? I mean, there's no that? great turn that you there wish that no you had not made. Turn. There's no great words I have for architects either. Yeah. Except don't be one. Why? Go bust. bust. Go, go bust? Hmm. You know, it's too hard, too many, too few people are doing well in architecture. Too few people are doing well in architecture for obvious reasons. Architecture's too hard. Too hard? Yeah. What's hard about it? <laughs> How would you get it the right size to it to please the client? Yeah, that's the hardest thing. How about pleasing yourself? How hard is that? That's the hardest. That's the hardest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a club with talking to you. <laughs> you. You know too much about artists. Yeah. That is true about artists, yeah. isn't it? Oh. Pleasing themselves. Oh, terrible. Yeah. Terrible. This town is celebrating me's in two separate Museum. museums. Yeah. What do you think of all this? I don't, well, of course, I'm not so fond of me's as the historians are, and uh, we didn't get along very well, and why should we? You know, he's an older gentleman, and a great influence on me, obviously, and uh, a great architect. But after that, why should I celebrate him? It's important for me to get going, too, you know. <laughs> we, so have, I, we have been celebrating you every year of your life. Not every year, dear. Well, every well, this is five years, whatever you say. <laughs> you know better than I do. These facts escape me. Uh, but but, but uh, more about Mies. Mies, yeah. Yeah, Mies, I mean. Mies, Mies, Mies. He's a very great man, but... Uh, Why didn't you get along? Because he didn't like me. And that, of course, is the greatest sin of all, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I don't know what's wrong with me, but uh, I wasn't a good enough pupil. I, my buildings were not good enough. Mies van der Rohe buildings. Yeah. They were good in my buildings. Yeah. But they didn't please the great man. <laughs> so uh, he decided to, to cross me off his list, which is fine. Did you feel rejected? Oh yes. Oh, all those things. Oh. I think everyone separate feels all these rejections. Why is he a great man? Because he did the greatest buildings of his time. I mean, they still, you go back and you earn it all. But the skill and the greatness of the designs. What was it about the designs that you thought made them great? I can't make it as clear as I can with a copy of a Roman <laughs> <laughs> temple. <Yes. laughs> but uh, because he made the original buildings. Yeah. He didn't need any any fingers to help him. See, I need crutches. Crutches. I think we all do. What kind of crutches do you need? I need crutches like that using, in this case, of those few houses, the Pantheon. Yeah. You need something that inspires you, that gives you a... Uh, Get me going. Uh, going. How would I make a, a house look like a Roman or a, a Arab village <laughs> if I didn't have a copy of a house that everyone recognizes the proportions. See, if you recognize the Pantheon proportions, the dome and the, and the drum, if you didn't see that, you wouldn't know how high the building was. See, you see the Pantheon, and you'll know exactly how high the door has to be. Clear, everything's right there. <laughs> it's half the height. Yeah. Good. And that is a great crush. And you got to have something. I'm mean, whatever Mies used for crutches, almost nothing, or, or whatever his slogan. How about were. Frank Lloyd Wright? Frank Lloyd Wright invented a new slogan every ten minutes. <laughs> sure. Oh no, Frankie was very good at, yeah. at slogans. Oh no, artists need the help of, of, a, of a crutch. Yeah. It doesn't make a difference if they admit it or not. You know. I mean, Frank Lloyd Wright thought he was. Original genius. Well, he was. As he, original as you get. He was. Oh yeah. Yeah. How many geniuses have you known in architecture? The two, I think. Frank, Frank and, and uh, Mies. Mies van der Rohe. Those two. No, you have to add Corbusier. Of course you do. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to wear those glasses. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't Corbusier glasses. Is that not? This is oh, 
I always thought they were Corbusier glasses. No, they're better. They're better. They're, yeah. they're Johnson glasses. They're Johnson, but we see they're pure, mm. pure circles. They are pure circles? And not Corbusier. Corbusier Can I put them on one second? Try. Oh, they're made for them. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Say that to all the boys. <laughs> Um, if you were today, had somebody come to you and had a G5, a, the fast, a great jet, private jet, and said, Philip, let you and I go see the five greatest buildings in the world as you determine, where would you go? I'd have to talk, I think, for five minutes. Six. Okay. Or four. Okay. Name what would probably be on the list. The Pantheon. Pantheon. Yeah, but sure. much down the list. Okay. Of the great ones would okay. be the Pantheon, the uh, Parthenon. Parthenon. Parthenon be number one. Right. Then there'd be uh, uh, Michelangelo's. Well, there are two or three of Michelangelo. Right. right. You'd have a hard time. Right. Did he do St. Peter's Basilica? St. Peter's. You might be on the list somewhere. Yeah, right. Okay, what else? Oh, of course, Char Char Gothic Shark. Yeah, Shark would have to be there, wouldn't it? Oh, it would to me. You've always said to me that's the one thing you should see when you go to Europe. Of course. What else? <laughs> anything Anything in the United States? Frank Lloyd Wright? Frank Lloyd Wright. Falling Water or not? or what? No, not Falling Water. Uh, no, I like... Uh, some of his other buildings more. His but building. You could, you could figure it out way if, if you get the G5. If I get the That's G5, nice. would you go? I'll, not only that, but I'll make a list and knock your eyes off. <laughs> we should do that. All right. You know what we could do? What? You we and I could get, do that. We'll get the G5, get, get the you, we we'll get, we'll get a chef on the plane. A chef. Because oh, we've got to have a food. Food? Food. You can't go. Can't go without food. food. And we'll, we'll, invite, we'll invite our ten favorite friends. And we'll go see the five greatest buildings in the world. You want to do this? Let's do that. All right. You're up for this? I, I, we need to do this before you go to become 100. No, we can't. No, we we only got five years now. We can't chilly shally around. We can't chilly shally around. <laughs> we have a time clock <laughs> for this project. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, what is it? Um, what is it you most want to 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 be working on right now? What project? Well, I'm still on the. Uh, a little uh, pantheons. Pantheons. You still on that? Mm. Yeah. I'm doing one in in New Canaan. I'm yeah. doing one in Southampton. I'm doing one, you know, around. Yeah. Are you, in your own mind, more of a follower? Yeah. Than an initiator? Yeah. I think so. That's just in the. Isn't that awful. <laughs> <laughs> I suffer. <laughs> You suffer? <laughs> I mean, do you wish otherwise that you've been more of an initiator? I mean, you have been a definer, a follower, and a definer. That's right. Right? But not an initiator so much of, of great new ideas. No, that's right. <laughs> I don't think anybody is, though. You see. Not many. No. You can name them on your right hand. At that. My one finger. <laughs> <laughs> Rose. Yeah, well, I'm not sure about that. Sure. Um, when, when you look, what excites you most about the future and where we are? To hope that someday clients and developers will develop a taste for good architecture and a willingness to spend what it takes to, uh, to create it. See, the catch is that most developers are not interested in architecture, they're interested in M O N E Y. Commerce. Commerce, well, why not? Yeah. That's their business. And uh, I think they ought to be more interested in beauty. But beauty, you see, is not very rewarding. Trump is a good example. It was Trump that I used in, in my quote. Yes, I know. <laughs> and he got upset and wrote you a nasty letter? He, oh, what a nasty letter. Uh, he was right. Yeah. He probably claimed See, credit for making you, too. He said, you, you, you took my money 
And now you say these terrible things about me. The seat tape a little more. No bless or breeze, wouldn't you? Yes. That you owe me just the fact that I gave you a chance, Philip Johnson, to build three or four buildings on the Hudson River. Yeah. That's something, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. something. No, no, he's right. He's right. Oh yeah. He's got a point. Oh sure. John Ron. <laughs> check oh, yeah. check one for the Donald. Chuck one for the, the Donald. Donald. Yeah. <laughs> you got to help me understand and think about your life and all Why? the things you have done Why? and all the things you wish you could do, you know. Tell me what you're proudest of. Tell me what my what you are proudest of. Proudest of? Yeah. There's a couple of places where I stand and look at some of my buildings and brings tears to my eyes. Where? That's putting me on the spot. It is. <laughs> and I want you to answer it. <laughs> well, just now, because I'm working on it, there are some parts of these villages I'm building. Right. That are each house is a village, see. That one little sense of clumped, clumped round towers. Yeah. It's so wonderful that you see one or two places and you say, oh, that's it, see. Mm -hmm. And you hit it and you only catch a little bit, you only catch a glimpse, you only catch a half a look. But that's what keeps you alive. Yeah. I will never forget the moment ever that you and I first walked into Frank Gehry's building. Which one? In the, in Bilbao? In Bilbao. When tears came into my eyes. When tears came into your eyes. And I said to you, why are you crying? <laughs> and you said, it's so beautiful. You had been so touched by... Yeah, it's the shapes. Shapes. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. That's what you are in the end. I mean, it is this love. That's right. Of form and beauty. That's all. Love of it. It's love. Yeah. And love is, is what makes the world go wrong, they tell me. <laughs> I mean, if I read, read right, <laughs> and, and money doesn't. So. Yeah. so I'll die poor, which I've always wanted to, and uh, poorer than I thought I was going to, but that's all right. And. Uh, but that's all right if I if I make the, enough of the beauty part. Mm. See, I don't know whether it'll be the, the thing in Guadalajara, or whether it'll be one of the houses. Well, or pantheons or pantheons are one of those things. Or the Cathedral of Hope or. Oh, that would be. Yeah. That would be a dream, really. You are amazing. You really, I'm not. you are. I'm a failure. <laughs> you are not a failure. Well, you know what? Now here's the story. You're talking about dying poor. You've given away your art. Yeah, I gave to away the, yeah. to the Museum of Modern Art. I think I, I can't did. remember. I did that because I wanted them, the money to be used. Mm. See, that money was was a little bit when I put it in, and and after I gave it. I turned out, it turned out <laughs> it was worth 20 million. I was very surprised. <laughs> but If you know it's worth 20 million. <laughs> to 20. Well, that's a lot of that's money. That's a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't get it. I gave it to the modern. Yeah. But uh, that, of course, helped me get kudos and right. pleasure and satisfaction. And, that, it, and it hangs that, there for lots of people to join. That's right. To enjoy. Uh, they'll all enjoy their pictures. And they must be good or they wouldn't be worth so much, I always say. <laughs> <laughs> it shows you had a great eye. Yeah. Well, I had some help, don't forget. Well, of course, you knew everybody. Yeah. And you had a, you know, and you had a relationship. That's a great relationship you had with the modern. With the modern, yeah. Well, I had a great leader, Alfred Barr. Yeah, Alfred Barr was, it was gave you an opportunity to be the, be the architectural curator. That's right. So everything was happy, and everything's best in the best possible world. Mm -hmm. And we'll come back and do this five years. Five years from now. Okay. When you're 100. When I'm 100. Philip Johnson at 95. I love you. You're a great man. <laughs> Thank you. You'll look like you know you just came off of the movie. I said I, I think I have to put you on my.
the payroll. I said to her this morning. <laughs> no, she said. She would love that. Mm -hmm. you, know? That's what, you know what we need? We need Philip Johnson the movie. That's what we need. You and I should make the Philip Johnson movie. I'm sure they would be glad to have one. <laughs> I'm sure they would. You continue to work. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want to talk about projects. Which shall we talk about first? We can talk about the Spring Street project, because I've got a model here. That's the one I want to talk about. That's the one you want to talk about? Well, I don't care. I just see it. <laughs> Let's see the slide and have you talk about it. All right? Sure. Thank you. Sure. How are you feeling? I feel better and better every yeah. year. Do you really? Sure. No, that's not true. Come on. It isn't true at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't feel well, but that's not the point. What's the point? Well, when you're 95, you feel 95, right? <laughs> exactly. And 95 is not like 55. And 55 not like is not like 25. <laughs> no, and 25 right. is not like 15. That's right, but I feel fine. Yeah. Well, you look wonderful. I feel fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, the makeup person is very good here. <laughs> she gets better and better. I think yeah. she just relax now and have our makeup. <laughs> That's right. I'll just send it to you every morning when you go out in public, see? And you'll... Go Rose. Yes. Ah, they're coming back <laughs> through the back door. Because of you. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I'm going to do my bet for it. Yeah. No, so what is it about the double hung window that... Well, because it's local. It's, it's feely. It's, it's, it's the way New Yorkers feel. Yeah. If, you, if you look at a block in New York, it's full of double-hung windows. Yeah. So if you want to feel at home, get a big building, since that's the way New York is. You can't right. stop it. Right. But if you're not going to stop tall buildings, at least you can stop glass buildings and, and get that same feeling of a double-hung. The great Philip Johnson is here. For more than half a century, he has been practicing architecture and he has been at the forefront of architecture and design. He's got lots of projects, including the Glass House, the Cathedral of Hope, and the Lipstick Building here in New York. Paul Goldberg of The New Yorker has called him our most compelling architectural presence for more than a generation, and perhaps even longer than that. On July 8th, he will celebrate his 95th birthday. I am pleased to welcome my friend Philip Johnson back to this table just to check in with what's going on before we do our next interview, which will be when he's about 100. So welcome to the program. There it is. You can see the slide over there. Now, I love this building. You have said that this would be the crowning achievement in your career. Well... <clears throat> you still say that or not? No, the next one. The next one. All right. Why? But tell me why this project is important to you. This part is important to me because it represents a new direction in modern architecture. It is, a, well, I call it for short, the revolt of the double-hung window. The revolt of the double-hung window. Nobody ever used them. You see, nowadays, modern glass and all that. Yeah. Since the invention of glass, double-hungs have gone out with...